Pictures of lowriders, folklorico dancers, and portraits of homeless make up an exhibit at the Oceanside Museum of Art. This is Oceanside in a nutshell, basically. The exhibit is called Oceanside Unfiltered, and Zach Cordner is the curator. This show is really shows how there's layers in our city that form what we are. And, you know, it's not just about surfing. It's not just about the piers. You know, uh, it's, it's all the different fabrics of the community coming together to weave what Oceanside is, which is this multicultural melting pot. He's a photographer and publisher for the Oceider and Encinitas magazines. He says there are noticeable differences in the neighboring coastal cities. The main differences are the cultural differences, the ethnic differences. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of white people south of here. <laughs> and uh, that's just how it is. The city is about 36% Hispanic or Latino, while Carlsbad and Encinitas are each 14%, according to census data. Cordner says the differences aren't just ethnic. You know, Oceanside, um, I think for the longest time, has had the stereotype that it's a, it's a rough city, um, you know, uh, there's gangs, there's homeless, prostitution, all sorts of things. But how did Oceanside get that rough stereotype? Christy Hawthorne is with the Oceanside Historical Society. With a name like Oceanside, it says it all. Um, it was uh, established in 1883 by Andrew Jackson Myers, and his sole purpose for developing his town of Oceanside was br to bring people to it. She says the reason Oceanside stayed cheaper actually has to do with malls. In the 60s, the introduction of malls changed downtown USA and removed stores from Oceanside's downtown. So when our downtown changed and all of our department stores, shoe stores, clothing stores, they all went to the mall, what was left in Oceanside? Nothing. We had a lot of vacancies. Vacant storefronts and lots took over and Oceanside became known as Ocean Slime. We were once this mecca of, of you know, shopping and car buying with a high you know, tax revenue to used car lots, surplus stores, and, and, and empty vacancies. But that also made Oceanside cheaper, a place where a blue collar working family could afford a home near the beach. 10 years ago, the average price for a home in Oceanside was $313,000 while the average price in Carlsbad was $559,000 and $709,000 in Encinitas. But now Oceanside's real estate prices are spiking. They've almost tripled in the past 10 years. That's much faster growth than in other nearby cities. Oceanside's nickname, Ocean Slime, is fading away. And Hawthorne says it's showing signs it will live up to its original potential as a resort city. In 1887, we actually got a, a resort hotel. It was called the South Pacific Hotel. It was a four-story hotel uh, that um, was right on the bluff about where the, the current Wyndham uh, property is now. And uh, it was built solely to attract uh, new land buyers, uh, visitors, and uh, vacationers. I think within the last 10 years, things have really changed a lot. For the, uh, in the community. Zach Cordner with the Oceider and Encinitas magazines will continue to document those changes, though he says the changes could hurt some communities. There'll be pockets like that, I think, that can, can weather the storm, but I think overall, all the different neighborhoods of Oceanside, it, it, prices are going to go up and locals are going to get squeezed out. It's just, it's a fact and it's sad. We'll talk more about gentrification tomorrow. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.